how to create a Minecraft server with Eternals for actually totally free. Now that's what I'm going to show you guys in this step-by-step -step tutorial. So if this video helped you out, then please let me know in the comments and let's get started right away. So as you can see, you can see the server right here. Once you are in Google, you want to search for Eternals right over here and the uh, first or second site or basically every site with .org is uh, yeah for you. So what you want to do is here sign up. So here you can already log in, but if you don't have an account yet, you want to click on sign up or you can actually sign in with Google. So click on sign up. And then here you want to choose a username. So you can, for example, do the same username as your Minecraft username, but this is just mainly meant for like your actual Aternos username. And then you want to agree to both of these and click on next. Here you want to choose a password, retype your password and add your email. And then go ahead and click on sign up. And there you go. You will now be brought to this page. Now, keep in mind that because it is free, there is actually a lot of ads, as you can see. But basically, here you have a quick explanation if you would like to, or you can simply click on create a server to start right away. So here you can actually click and choose which version of Minecraft you use. So I use the Java edition, but you could also do it for the Bedrock edition if you would like to, as you can see. And I'll just click on a Java edition, and here you can actually change your server's name and even add a different uh, photo as well. So if you click on here, um, you can only change this. By the way, you cannot change the Eternos.me. That's just how it is. So I went ahead and customized it a little. I added a profile picture. I changed this and the server name. Then I'll just click on create. So once you are here, um, here you can actually see the software. So it's currently set to vanilla and you can, for example, change this to um spigot slash bucket for example or paper slash bucket or fabric or forge so for example you could choose this one and then the newest version and then install this in order to actually install mods uh, now if you are happy with vanilla then keep that here you can also select the version of your server uh, which you would like to and then you can actually click on start now you have to accept this and it's now preparing your server. So the very first time of creating your server might actually take a little bit of time because, you know, it has to build up the whole world as well. So now that this is actually starting up, I just want to show you guys that you have some options here as well, where you can, for example, change the game mode, difficulty, PvP, and um, even add a resource pack that every user of the server has to use. Here you can see the console and uh, the log as well, which is currently empty because, you know, the server isn't open yet. You can see all the players like the whitelist. If you have a whitelist, ops, band players, band IPs, software. So as you can see here, you can see all of this again. Um, and then uh, you can also go to files. This is currently being created as the server is now starting up. And you have rules as well. Once the uh, whole world is generated. You can even download the world or you can upload a custom world as well. And then here is backups where you can connect Google Drive and here you have access. And this is actually pretty nice because, you know, every time when nobody's on the server for a certain amount of time, the server will automatically turn off and you have to manually turn it on again before you want to play. So if you can add multiple people, for example, then that means that if you are, for example, not online, they can also turn on the server if they would like to once the server is up you should see a green online over here here you can stop it or restart it here you can see the timer and this is basically the timer if this one runs out the server will automatically close again so i'll just go ahead and copy the ip and then i will um, go back to minecraft add a server copy the ip right over here then click on done and as you can see it now says that welcome to the server we can double click on this we're now joining the world the world has been created and as you can see this is it so now we are inside our server which is great and we can enjoy playing with friends so that is how to create a minecraft server with eternals i hope this video helped you out let me know in the comments if it did and then i'll see you next time